for late night here on the east coast of Canada. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, ever heard of a game called Altered Beast for the Sega Genesis? Yes, absolutely. I've played it. I beat it. I uh, own it. I don't own a Genesis, but I own the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that's actually a uh, funny world. Um, first off, Kaylin is vegetarian. Um, I mean, for a bit, but she's starting to warm up to the idea. Oh, it was. It's been a process, let me tell you that much. Um, she used to never... She was vegetarian for like five years. And then we started dating. She was in like a little period where she started eating meat again. And she had never ate fish her whole life because she didn't like the smell. Um, and she didn't think she liked the taste, but she never had it. Same as eggs, she didn't like egg. But I got her eating fish and egg, and then she went vegetarian again. In my life, because fish is my life. I grew up on tuna. Uh, tuna sandwiches are absolutely um, some of my favorite things in the world. I don't know. I just really enjoy them. Um, they're very cheap, too, and I'm, I'm a very cost-conscientious uh, guy. So, yes, I beat uh, Altered Beast. It's not that bad. The ending's really crazy, though. Uh, how does the audio sound for you guys? Yeah, I don't know. When I was a kid, um, I was one of those kids, like, I had to make my own. Uh, food for lunch at school starting really early, I think, like maybe grade two. And um, I often, I would not make food for lunch. I was really bad for it. But I would come home and have a sandwich instead. And always it would be tuna mixed with mayo. I'd make like a little bit of a tuna salad before I knew what that was. And then mustard. And sometimes a slice of cheese. That really crappy plastic cheese that we all know and love. Apparently I have a continue here. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure I want to know what's going on here. Let's go ahead and bend in that run. Um, I'm one of those weird people. I, I gotta say I love Kane. They nerfed him really, really hard uh, in Rebirth. But I still think Rebirth is a much better game. Um, they're both good though. Uh, I think I have like 55 hours in each of them, so... Uh, 50 and then 46, so... I mean, that's not counting what I played offline. One thing I like more than tuna... Oh, you like tuna as well? Excellent. Shells and white cheddar pasta. I... Well, actually, here in Canada we call it craft dinner. Um, just, I don't know, it's mac and cheese, if you will. I prefer the uh, the cheddar. As opposed to the white cheddar, but Caitlin is a big white cheddar fan, so we often have that if we eat it. Anyway, um, I haven't played this in a very long time. Um, I'm not sure if I ever played it on stream, so it would have been before I streamed that I played this last. But uh, it's actually one of my favorite games, I'll say that much. Um, it's one of those things, top 20. It's hard to compare it to some of my other giants. I think we're going to start as Kane, though, as he used to always be one of my favorites. Oh, the peeper. Hang on. Give me a second. Um, who do I need to beat you with? I need to beat the chest. Right. Hey, Origami, how you doing? Not really sure. So I'm not sure how the peeper works with Kane, considering he doesn't have a uh, an eye to lose, but he does. There you go. You hate seafood. It's actually really good for your origami, and you probably just haven't had it uh, cooked properly. I, that's the biggest thing. Whenever someone says they don't like seafood, I'm like, oh, okay, but you're probably just not having it cooked right. Well, let's see if we can. So I can break that get something cool. Well, the run might be over in half a second here. That's fine with me. Oh, here we go. Our god is a gracious god. I'm one of those, I don't know, I'm probably one of the weird minority here for Isaac, but I find this game very relaxing. Uh, also, we're playing on the... Basically, you unlock, like, variant versions now of the floors. Uh, you had it in the original Isaac, but it wasn't 
quite as drastic of a difference. Um, <laughs> you want bad sushi? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I find sushi though bad or good. I don't think it is amazing. Uh, spades? I can't remember if that's keys or bombs. I know diamonds is keys. Uh, we're gonna hold off on it anyway. Pin. Yeah, I find. Oh. I was gonna say, I was like, what? I've never seen that there before. Yeah, it's not about the texture, actually, origami. The big thing with fish is you want to cook away the fish taste. I know that sounds weird, um, but if you're not used to fish, absolutely. Um, because the big thing about fish is... Um, oh, I don't need to explain the game, do I? I, I think everyone and their mom has played Isaac before. <laughs> but um, the thing about fish is you're trying to cook it because... A fish as opposed to another meat, like uh, a steak or something, you know. It's very soft. It, it should, like, melt in your mouth, and it's a very pleasurable experience to eat. Um, it, it can be argued that fish is the most, like, sexual food, if you know what I mean. Um, it is quite nice, though. I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, so you basically just need to get people liking it uh, and not tasting it, and then you can make them taste it more. Um... Most people often do this just by putting a little bit of lemon on your fish. And that's not going to cut it. Because um, depending on the type of fish you use, if you're putting lemon on uh, like a sweeter fish, like that's going to help. But if you put lemon on something like a, like a tuna that's got sort of a... or like a cod maybe. It's got a very like sour, if you will, taste. Um, it's just going to make it like more noticeable. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Uh, Kaylin is notoriously bad for trying new things. And I'm notoriously bad for being allergic to everything I try, so. Um, actually, I came home today. I bought orange juice. Uh, spades equals keys, thank you. That does kind of make sense. So right now, basically, the two of spades would double my keys. I have a one key... So it's better to use it on zero or on two. Push pin, piercing shots. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't think it's all my shots, so it's a random one, right? We will have to see. Oh, I hate these enemies. Uh, so a big thing in Isaac is you're trying to not take damage. Obviously, this is more if you're just like a, you know a good player. Um, otherwise, you're just trying to survive, and that's why I like it. Again, it's like any roguelike. You're just going for the safe plays. Okay, this is actually a really good item. Um, if you stand still long enough, you go invulnerable, just like in Mario. And since we have Peeper, um, in theory, if we had all night, we could beat every boss by going AFK. I don't like to do that, but it's an option. Having options is fun. 10% chance. Hey, thanks, Moron. The thing is, you're trying to not take um, red hard damage so that you can. Uh, uh, yeah, why not? Right on. So you can unlock a devil room at the end, or a god room. But in my case, always a devil room. Boss is a little bit bugged. There you go, Dingle. Didn't actually expect him to shoot there. Quite surprising. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I have to move the chat so it's like closer to my screen. <laughs> I have to like look all the way on the other side of the uh, the monitor. But um, yeah, Isaac very much. My McMillan. Nice and thought it was awesome. Oh, hey, Crampers. But McMillan was definitely trying for, um, like, a link to the past. Pretty sure he's, like, officially said that a billion times now. So, lump of coal. Uh, your shots do more damage the further they are away from you. 
which is interesting. I believe actually if it, they're very close to it, it has a negative modifier, so it's something to look out for. But um, I really like Isaac. One of my favorite things is I really enjoy the fact that you don't know what anything does. Um, I don't look up what things do. I'm not that kind of person. I understand the need for it, for sure. Like having a wiki, 90% of the people are going to use that, 90% of the people, maybe 95%. It's very useful, um, absolutely. But, okay, so right here, if I place a bomb here, basically there's these secret rooms, just because origami seems like you might not know what's going on, that normally appear in between multiple rooms. So if I drop a bomb, I want to drop it about here, because I want to try and blow up the center block. I also really want to break that open. Okay, there wasn't, but at least we got a free bomb out of it. Um, that's, the thing about that board is that's sort of true. Um, okay, I don't want to go in the shop, I don't have anything. Alright, I'll try and explain some stuff, Origami. The thing is, though, um, well, there's no real reason not to blow up rocks for a bomb. Now, the lore is awesome, Herpy, I, I quite enjoy it. Um, but the thing is... Your first room can be a god room because you've never taken a devil deal. And the thing is, you can still get god rooms if you've taken a devil deal if you have items that increase the chance of god rooms. So, I don't know. Like everything in Isaac, it is fairly luck based. Um, there's definitely a large amount of skill that goes into it. Um,. But, uh, end of the day, there's a lot of luck. <laughs> uh, there's actually 15 endings, I think. Don't quote me on that. I, I know I'm, I certainly have a ton of them. Um, interesting, uh, the ringworm. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is garbage. So anyway, it's um, like a twin stick shooter, basically, origami. I use the Xbox controller, so I move with the um, analog stick and Y shoots up, etc. And the thing is, you can kind of like arc your shots, because uh, your bullets carry momentum, much like you do. So you can do some pretty tricksy stuff. There's a ton of different types of enemies in the game. They all do different things. Ultimately, what it comes down to is don't let them touch you. Uh... The thing is, most of the worms are really good if you have a laser, but um, I don't know. I used to enjoy the original Isaac's Wiggly Worm, because uh, that increased your attack speed quite a bit. I always felt that was worth it in the end. But you can't have everything. in that shot there. But yeah, I don't know why I find this game relaxing. It's, you know, it's, it's a punishing game. So we could double our keys here and make them... Um, I think I'm going to explore a little bit more. Hopefully find one more key and then double our keys to 12. There you go, hey. It's not too bad. Where are you? Oh, you're terrible. I think this is the fly that comes out like when you get hit and damages stuff. Oh, speaking of weird... Oh, jeez. Nasty room there. A lot of people in Isaac hated one... Hated shot speed increasers? Yeah, why? They're awesome. Let's go the safe way around. Uh, sir, oh jeez, what have I done? 
Okay, there's one more room to check out. Might as well open this as well. Hey, a key. Oh, no you don't. So, origami in this game... Um, that's kind of nice, the dime, actually. In this game, you've got... Like, you pick up items, like we have been picking up. And they're permanent. Like, they... It will always affect and, and change your stuff. However, uh, yeah, I, I don't feel that bored. I, I think that's a silly reason. However, some items, they're activatable, and they'll appear, I'm not sure, I forget if I have my mouse. Yeah, I do, okay. So right up here, there'll be an item. You can only carry one of those, and down here, this is called a trinket. You can carry one of these, but an item allows you to carry two. And they generally change your shots. Um, or very small things about your character. <laughs> okay, Steam Sale. Absolutely amazing. Um, let's go ahead and bomb the donation. Get some money. Cool. So Steam Sale is going to make everything half off for the rest of the game. Which is kind of fun gonna give us options later. Or maybe not. Sometimes everything in the shop sucks. Sometimes you never get money. Also, I'm not sure what this version of Peep does differently. It's apparently a champion. Oh, I see. It was actually gonna mess me up. Uh, oh, I see the eyeballs home on you. That's what he does. It's really annoying. Alright. Well, not GG there. I'm so bad for that. I'm used to the, They're supposed to come straight down. But this version of him is a little bit different. <laughs> oh, you herpy. Oh, cool. It tells where it's the boss room. Well, the curved horn is always just the best option. In any character. You spitter. Please, no. Don't some of the big ones. Uh, the white stuff on the ground is web. It slows you down. Cool. Magic mushroom. Very good item. Alright, well I gotta know what's in the box. Oh, okay. Uh, and both these items kinda suck. It's, ha it's fun having a lot of followers, but that's not a very useful one, so pass on that. Oh, jeez, this room, though. Hello, little Gerties. I forget what these things are called. It's not Gertie Jr. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to officially do it. Drag, oh, jeez. Drag my chat close to the screen so I can properly read it while playing. This one the chat tells me that I had like the cursor on the screen the whole game. I'm very sad. Didn't really notice. Pretty tired. <sighs> We're so good. One of those things I got. I'm not generally good at, well, I'm supposed to get this on a turn. I'm not generally the best at, like, um, faster paced games. Oh, Shielded Tears is interesting. Uh, it means when I shoot, it, um, I don't know if it has a chance or all my shots do it. Okay. It's only some of my shots, um, but they destroy enemy bullets. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of items for this game. I don't know what they do. Most of them I have a pretty good idea, but there are some. So, why am I so tired? Oh, that actually might be the piercing. Maybe all my shots kill? Yeah, all my shots do kill bullets. Uh, I'm tired because work has been insane the last um, two weeks. It's been really, really crazy. Um, Shield of Tears actually might have been a bad choice. We'll see. 
Uh, also, I'm one of those people I always go in the devil or the cursed room there. Uh, you take uh, damage going in and out. So it's generally not worth it. But uh, my favorite item in the game is Guppy. So I always try and build it. Never get any of the pieces. Um, pretty good. No, it won't be there. Won't be there. I'm not actually 100% on where the oh. There could be a secret room here. Yeah, work's just been crazy. Um, a little bit I'm overworked. For sure. Get a sandwich making veterancy level. Always herpy. Alright, well... Popping the pills, not so bad there. Balls of steel is nice though. Good to have in the rotation. Uh, I don't know. Portable slot machine's fun. Not crazy. I'm just gonna leave those items for now. Um, what the heck? I'll blow these up. Hopefully, get some peels. Nope. So all we gotta do is remember that. Bottom left was the there. Excellent, the boss. Curse of the Labyrinth, excellent. Ooh, I like this. Just gotta worry about peep trolling us with the bombs. Nice. Lots of good stuff. Unidentified pill. Just interesting. Uh, I really hate dodging those, so I'm not gonna try for it right now. Basically, there's spikes that like chase after you, like a, an, an enemy in Zelda. Can't remember their uh, qual qualed. Can't remember what they're called. This is a very interesting room. Thank God for pure shots. Alright. Oh no. Alright. The double large rooms. Oh hey George, how you doing? Didn't recognize you with your uh your new face there. Have you been a woman long or is that like a newer development? Golden poop. Got trolled by my own attack fly there. Thought it was uh thought it was an ally, but nope, it was just one of those ones. Anyways make you cry every time, really? It's not so bad. Uh two keys for a ton of bombs. Alright. I'll take that gamble. What do we got? Oh, excellent. Golden key, nice. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm, I'm feeling too, Borrowed. The second I realized, like, they don't keep going, I was like, oh. Now, that said, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that piercing and golden, or uh, shielded tears do keep going. Uh, after stopping the bullet. I think I remember that happening on a, uh, a run I had at one point. Flick the wrist. <laughs> Is that how you play this game? You just gotta flick your wrist? I'm so bad at games. Huh. I haven't even found an arcade yet, which is odd. Got two spades. Sure. Sigmata, nice. Yeah, it's quite possible there's a secret room. Uh, right here might be one. Now, interesting thing, Peeper used to in the uh, original game 
um, move your bombs. That was like how you died a lot of the time. Peeper used to be the worst item in the game. Now he's just a bad item, but he's not the worst. And that's something. This is a room. It's not the worst room in the game, but uh, depending on RNG, it can be pretty tough early on. Alright, I guess we try the boss for now. Mask of Infamy, oh joy! I didn't want to have fun, thanks. It's homing version, that's interesting. I've seen that before. So this boss here, the thing is you have to shoot it in the back of the head after you kill the heart. It becomes really annoying. You can't tell. Come here. All the way up. Come on up. I think this is how you want to do this. Kill it with the fly. There we go. Cool. Luck up. Oh, there's going to be two secrets on this floor. That's a thing. I'd be up for sand. Oh, I messed up, guys. I'm not going to get the other secret. Unless it's telepills. Might be telepills. Good news is we'll probably get the boss rush. Which I've already beaten with Kane, I think. I've beaten it with most of the characters. Yeah, I would be up with... Uh, Ah, uh, Epicac is, yeah, that's an item. I know it's pretty good, I'm just, I've never really used it myself. Uh, I've only seen it like twice, so. Problem is like the first several times you get Epicac, you just don't know what you're doing. Interesting. Uh, I said I had to do the chest, did I? I think I have to do the chest. Um, Polaroid's pretty good anyway. Tears down. I was really hoping for the, uh... Oh, well. Oh, that tears down hurts. Yeah, it was uh, an XL floor, George. Uh, so you fight two bosses. There was a second um, secret room as well. Or, like, you know, item room. <laughs> it buffered and this happened, that's funny, man. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this run, but we're going to try. I don't really have any good items. Uh, I have Sigmata, which is nice. Sid. We do have Peeper and Tanuki suit. There's options. Nice. We did get a fly after all. Oh, whatever it's worth. Pill one. Speed up. Uh, okay. Bad gas. Well, something. It's one of those things. Like we haven't lost the run yet, but um, beating chest is of course a now we've lost the run. The chest is a giant DPS rush, and uh, I really need to pay a bit more attention to these characters. They're not normally that hard to dodge. It's weird, I always end up dying to like the weakest enemies. Alright. What you get? Pretty fly, nice. Two pretty flies is actually going to make me feel a lot better about the game. Uh, the thing, George, is it depends a lot on luck, but um, obviously, like, this is, this is sort of a skill-based game, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do if you're just very good at the mechanics. Like, you can win. Um, 
Well, it, it depends on sort of luck and like knowing how to abuse the game. Absolutely. But the thing is, like, once if you know the mechanics, you can beat the game with base Isaac. It's just really slow. Okay, cool. We've already found the boss. Yeah, so piercing and shielded tears does in fact keep going after it hits the bullet. Whether or not it's reduced damage, I couldn't tell you. Oh, the fallen. Okay. Oh, double the fallen. Is there supposed to be two of them? I feel like I fought two before, but I didn't realize there's supposed to be. Alright, interesting. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen them split, though. So that's fine. You guys can have a little bit of a group hug. Thank you. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. Never thought I'd see just AoE death room. Right. Missing page. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, George. I don't know why you're having uh, trouble with just sometimes my stream. Oh well. Oh, I hate these things. <laughs> That was weird. I've never seen him turn that before. I wonder if it's because I beat, like, the body first. Oh, I want that pill. Go! Cheers up, nice. My internet provider or George? Uh, mine. Ooh. Probably never heard of mine. <laughs> but seriously, they're, um, Start or Smart or something. Start, I think. Start Communications. They're like a, um, a local ish one here in Canada. They're really good actually. Ah, oh, really? Did not think that got me. Let's try looking for the boss. This oh jeez. Just worry about the uh, annoying enemies first. Okay, troll bomb, no thanks. Oh, there's our first arcade. It's only like 20 minutes in the game, whatever. That's fine. Missing page. Uh, I don't recall that being good. It's probably just like a Necronomicon effect. Well, unfortunately... Ah, uh, actually. This works out. Works out just fine. Cool. Time to gamble. But the thing is, George, like if you get an earlier, okay, I messed up there. I shouldn't have taken the half heart. Oh yeah. Uh, I really need a half heart. A half heart though. No, don't kill. Half heart. Uh, not quite what I wanted. There we go. Excellent. Might be able to get the blood bag and save the run. Who knows? Yeah, I did know that killing the beggars increased the devil room chance. Portable IV. You're trolling me, game. Stop. Like, you couldn't hear me, or... Can you hear me now? Oh, I did not mean to pick that up, but that's all good. Doesn't really matter anyway, it's the last floor, so... An extra half a hit. Oh, okay, that's good to hear. Yep, that's. This is one of those cases where having the shielded tears is really bad. 
it's like you want to shoot this guy, but it's like occasionally it just blocks a bullet, which ultimately doesn't really help you. Yeah, I've uh, actually broken the game quite a few times. Um, like th this Isaac with um, arcade rooms. Arcade is far. Oh, I'm just gonna cheese it. Arcade is far and above the easiest way to um, beat the game. Unfortunately, if you don't get an arcade room early, you know you're gonna have a bad day. I'm also not a fan of these enemies. Like here, they're okay, but often. Oh, I thought he was gonna come closer. Often they appear in uh, these really annoying rooms where it's like. There's nowhere to move, and you can't even see them, really. So you don't have a lot of option there. I'm going to go ahead and spend the last of our coins at the arcade. I would like, um, something. Oh, yeah, I forgot it blew up. I'd like something. I don't know what. Go check here for a secret. Nice. Oh, hey, Greed. You're too little too late. Another thing, too, is we got the um, Steam Sale on this run. But we never got a chance to buy anything good with it. Which is too bad. Okay, a second Steam Sale. That's sure game. That's what I needed. There's actually nothing really good off Greed. Um, but... Oh, I did that to myself. That anything would have been nice. <laughs> All right, good luck, borrowed. Actually, uh, ooh, ace of spades. I think that makes me draw more cards. Uh, cards are actually really strong in this game, so we'll keep it. Uh, the piercing effect's probably better, but that's fine. So one thing I was thinking, actually, um... Alright. Sorry, got a little distracted there. Oh, I almost killed myself. Jeez. It lives! Oh no, too spoopy. Duck and weave, boys. Now, again, this is another case where having the shielded tears is actually a detriment, not a benefit. Because I can't damage this boss at all. That's tons of fun. It's excellent. I'm really glad I cannot hurt the boss. Now, here, actually, it helps me on this part. So, I guess you win some, you lose some. Frickin' Blastula. Stop it! Uh, this part... Well, actually helps a little bit here. Oh, peeper, please. Help with the chub. Alright, well we got him explode. That's good. Got the explosion, so it should stay here now. And with our increased shot, oh yeah, that. Forgot that's a phase now. Our damage is really low. Right, chest it is. Hello, Mr. Horseman. Please give me something good. Well, actually, you don't drop items. You're not a boss. You are a boss, but, you know. Oh, I didn't get anything for Guppy either this run, which is very depressing. Oh, I hate these enemies. Anything that, like, has long periods of invulnerability, not fun. Oh, actually, it's really bad with our um, shielded tears. 
So we can't hit them because they spray so many bullets. Oh well. We lived. So things we could use right now. Two of hearts. Pretty good. I'd be fine with two of hearts. I'd be okay with... Uh, I always forget these guys explode. Um, sun card would be nice actually for the chest. Unfortunately, Isaac doesn't drop items, so we're, we're past the point of getting um, anything. really don't want to fight you right now. Please just don't use your crack the sky, because I hate it. That's all, thank you. Yeah, the spoopy skeletons for sure. This attack is completely random. Uh, whether or not you die is just pure luck. It's uh, very frustrating. There's no way to dodge it uh, if it decides to land on you. That's it. Isaac uh, has a very similar ability when you get to him, but his you can dodge. Um, sort of. You just have to know exactly where to run. And then pray, because there is a bit of a caveat with that. Because I can do it 9 times out of 10, and then every once in a while the game is like, mm, well, not this time. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, we're doing back to being okay for health. Uh, let's try blowing that up and this up. That's fine. Looks like that boss just now, yeah. I actually messed up by taking... Oh, you herpy. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> he was, in fact, pretty fly. Truth be told. Alright, hello, Isaac. Get high priestess. Alright, now... The question is, do we try for Operation Cheese? Maybe. We're doing okay so far. Don't use your crack the sky stuff, please. Alright. What should I do, Herpy? Oh, I don't know, you keep spawning them. It's crazy. HA! Stop hitting yourself, I'm playing as Kane. Not applicable. Alright, bottom corner prey doesn't hit us. Cool. RNG gods. We're happy this day. Alright, come on, Isaac, stop it. Sometimes, even if you get in that corner, you still get hit. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me, though. I could be unlucky. Oh, <laughs> sure wish I could hit the boss. My tears are too good. See if Peeper can solo this guy. Out of boy, Peeper. <laughs> I'm wondering, actually, if it's gonna work. It does so little damage. It seems like the most likely place for Peeper to, like, Alright, we're, we're gonna have to step in and start doing stuff. This Peeper sucks. Peeper always sucks. I know. If we had Daddy Long Legs, this game would have been over. Oh! <laughs> Did not think he was going to do that attack. Not that anywhere. Oh, I got hit somehow. Rip. One more hit, I die, guys. Peeper, please. please. <laughs> Good job, Peeper. Alright, chest time. 
Hopefully we get good items. Oh, actually though. Yes, was the answer. Mom's knife is amazing. Magnet tears is okay. The hourglass is really good. But forget me now. Hey, how you doing, two bros? <laughs> Let's just re-roll this room. <laughs> well, that, that helped us go from suck to... Well, these items aren't great. Leo's fun, though. Mongo, baby. I guess Bob's head will do. Ah, oh, jeez. I derped. There you go. That's why I'm when I forget I have uh, Bob's head equipped. Happens. Happens. We did pretty good, actually, considering how that run was going from the beginning. Oh, my favorite! I love the bean. Yeah. Oh, it didn't even knock that back. OP, nerf now. Does it? Hey, hang on, I gotta find out if it affects these enemies at all. Hang on. Like maybe just when they're leaping it doesn't work? I don't know, that's kinda weird. Um, let's try a different run. I haven't done anything with, like, Eve or Samson. Eve's... Mm. Sure. Let's go ahead and try and get an actual win on Eve. I assume I've just beat Mum's heart with her. Eve's not the most fun character. She starts with... Oh, that's a pretty cool emote there. She starts with, like, really low damage, low HP, like, decent speed, but that's about it. Yeah, Horror Babylon's a pretty cool ability. Um, if you get an early Devil Rune with Eve, you're looking pretty good. But, it's not always how she goes. Isaac is a bit of a cross-dresser, yeah. Ooh. The other thing I hate, like, it's not that much harder playing, like, someone like Eve as opposed to someone like Judas, for example. Um, oh, that's a good item. Sometimes it blocks the shot in front of you. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But the thing is, like, it takes a lot longer. And I find myself just getting a little bit like, uh, like, hurry up and die. You know what I mean? Of course, that happens in any game of Isaac if you don't get any damage items. Which is always the worst. I mean, I know how I got hit. I ran past the enemy, but I did not expect that to hit me. I thought I was going fast enough. Is there one left still somewhere? There it is. No item drop. Alright. <sighs> Does Sloth not drop an item? Let me drop the stars. a mask. No, Herpy. <laughs> it's a monster mash, yeah. Well, this is not the worst version of this boss, to be fair. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> Come on, famine. Do stuff. There you go. Hey. Hey. Whatever. The deeps. Okay. Well, the mask didn't work there. I don't know. I'm never sure how the mask is supposed to work. 
I thought it was like... Sometimes I've had it like every single hit blocks. Yeah, it, it did try and go pretty fast. I don't know, I shouldn't have died there, I was playing a little sloppy. But I'm tired, so... Not too bothered by it. Oh, no, that was just my fault. That was actually a little bit frustrating. Just because, like, you need to not take damage on Eve. I just see yeah, a. Oh, really? Piercing your arrows don't. Right, that's spectral. I swear, piercing used to, uh, in the original Isaac, go through rocks. Oh well. Not too bothered bullets. That's funny. Oh, I'm just playing bad. It's probably a sign to start heading to bed. Probably. Hello, Widow. I forget if Widow drops Daddy Long Legs or just random boss though. So I would love Daddy Long Legs. It's one of the strongest abilities in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm a scrubber. You got me. <laughs> Learn the MLG. I'm trying, man. Oh, hey, Halo. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Problem is, when you get the Halo, you can't even com like complain about your run anymore. It's like, well, that's a pretty good item. No Guppy, though. I can complain about that. <laughs> oh well. Oh, did George 1v1 you? Who won hurt me? Please tell me it was George. That would make my day. Can I get now? Nah, not quite. <laughs> Aw, really? Oh, whatever. I'll just let the bird kill everything. Uh, company heroes. Yep, that's. Oh, a few days ago, eh? You improved your strat. Oh, so you lost. I see. Alright, let's take pills. Cool. Interesting. I need bombs, mon Monstro. Do you have those? Do you know what bombs are? I can go for some right now. How about the bird do something? Bird, please. Bird! That thing. There you go. You won two to two times. Actually, yeah, I, I quite enjoy uh, Men of War as well. They're both good games. But, I think Company Heroes, I mean, it's, it's Relic, so it's a lot more fast paced, in my opinion. It's um, a lot more arcadey, so there's a lot of fun to be had in that. But yeah, Men of War is definitely a good series. Does <laughs> grenade explosives. Hey, he might, dude. Some guys do. Oh, no, no, Herb. Oh, I love the Wiggle Worm. I hate the Wiggle Worm. Yeah? I, I don't know. I, I played the beta for Coming Heroes, too, as well, and I still... Still ended up going for it. <laughs> It's all right. All right. What is our game plan here? Aside from stop running in this stuff. Flick the wrist. I don't know, like. Uh, I don't know what you mean by flick the wrist, Terp. Oh, book of shadows. That's fun. Let's do some pretty cheesy stuff, and I'm all about that. This also actually adds to you. Some che oh, wow. Oh, actually, I need to trick one of these. Oh, that was supposed to. Yeah, I really wanted to get the bomb guys over by the special rock. I can't believe there's three secret rocks. 
in this level. And we haven't found a single bomb, found one key, zero coins. Always by the British. Okay, there's four. Wow. Oh, I got, like, farted on. Two spoop. Matchstick. Hey, cool. Now we'll start spawning bombs on all the floors we didn't need to. That's depressing. No, we beat it, Borrowed. But we died, yeah. <laughs> what do we got in here? Don't care. So I haven't found any keys, gold, or bot. Well, I found one key. It's pretty rough. Pretty rough start. There we go. And we found so many of those uh, bomb rocks. I forget the official term for them is blue rock or something like that. You get two dollars off. Why do you get two dollars off? Ah, uh, that's it's your call, Herpy. Here's um. Oh jeez, I'm a bad person. Here's how I always do video games. Um. No, we don't want the broken magnet thing. I always go, all right, uh, $1 is one hour. So, that, that's just how I like to look at it. So if you're going to get 10 hours as a British, you done it. Oh, pre-order promotion. Eh. Oh, look, I got the Shield of Tears again. But it's okay, actually, because I have piercing this run. Like, permanent piercing. So that's actually pretty fun. Um, what are you? Lucky rock. Oh, that's something if you break rocks. But we don't have any bombs, so... Still need the matches. So one thing I've been thinking about, guys... Pestilence. Hey, bud. How you doing? Is, um... Did not think that was gonna hit me. That's alright. Okay, is Pestilence bugged, or... Is he just shooting really fast? Holy snap. That was spooky. Yeah, like... I don't know if the game just bugged. It was running a lot faster than normal on that fight, but just the boss's attack. Could have been a champion, but I didn't notice a color difference. I don't know, maybe the game is running faster all of a sudden. I don't think so, though. No. Spiders are just always really fast. That was really weird. I was actually very surprised by that. Um, anyway, so about uh, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I really do enjoy Darkest Dungeon. I'll start by saying that. Actually, the weird thing is, I think my favorite aspect of it is the camping. So I think the next time I play it, ooh. I think the next time I play it, I'm gonna play the. Um... Okay, good. we got some bombs. What do we got? I'll take it. I'll take evil up. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the camping, so I'm gonna try and play more of the the longer missions, like the medium and the uh, long. But, um, I just found out actually that they're releasing a new update with, um, well the update's mostly out right now. Uh, it's coming out for, um, PAX. Okay, whoa. Please tell me you guys saw that guy fly across the entire map. I don't remember them doing that before. Maybe there's a hidden update or something. I don't know. I thought they had like a range of like from here to here. Like a, like a half screen? I don't know. Oh, Shielded Tears again. Why not? Uh, anyway, so I found out they're coming up with an update uh, around PAX, um, and then it'll be releasing shortly after, which is adding a whole new level to the game, um, like a whole new like area that we can fight in. Oh, cool, Duke flies. I haven't fought this guy in like a million years. And 
So that's exciting. Um, I'm really excited to see the new area. They're saying it's going to be about like a sunken stuff, so I'm really hoping... Oh, uh, they slide. I'm really hoping for like cthulhu -y, you know, just um, stuff involving like um, ancient Lovecraftian below the ocean, you know, depths. So, yeah, I'm really excited actually to see that kind of stuff. Um, they're also going to be, of course, throwing in a ton of new items and new bosses. And they're also going to be changing a lot of things, um, because they recently changed a lot of things in the latest patch. Um, which we've been noticing. One of them being, of course, not being able to take your high-level characters in. Oh, I didn't fight him, though, Herbie. I fought, like, a, a baby version of him. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't the actual boss. Um, certainly not, like, early on when you have no damage. He's just fun and relaxing, as opposed to you normally get the poop. So, um, I'm thinking actually I'm going to take a break from Darkest Dungeon. Because uh, I'm still having fun with it, I'd still like to see it go. But, I mean, if I play it for like another, you know, like two weeks maybe, um, which is probably how long it'd take to get anywhere that I'm happy with. Um, I'm thinking I might be burnt out a little bit. By the time the update comes, or the update will break my saves, and I'll be upset because I'll be far in the game, like something like that. So I think I'm just going to uh, take a break with it until the update comes out, because I really want to experience um, the update proper, which is actually one of the, the problems I had with um, my goat head disappeared. With um, Don't Starve. Is I got Don't Starve Early Access, and I played the junk out of it. I played so much of Don't Starve. I really enjoyed that game. And then they started updating it tons, and then Reign of Giants come, came out. And yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff out there now for Don't Starve. But unfortunately, I played it so much um, that I just like couldn't enjoy starting over again. And uh, your old worlds didn't have the new stuff, and etc, etc, etc. So... Can't you only play Don't Start Together with um, two uh, two people? I thought it was just two people. Otherwise, I don't mind doing uh, fewer games. Uh, yep, that's I, I do it quite often actually. Like just stuff like Dirty Bomb or whatever. Um, I'm normally a single player kind of guy though. I just enjoy those kind of games more. Um, it's nothing against you guys personally. Absolutely, anytime I do play something with multiplayer, uh, I will try and like organize the occasional thing. We're trying right now to um, get some weird Gmod thing going that George is obsessed with. Whether or not it's going to be good, who knows. But uh, we'll be able to get a couple of us in there and it'll be fun. Anyway, so I think that is my plan for Darkest Dungeon. Just wait until the new thing comes out so we can get the raw experience then. You can't believe I walked into the, that first one there. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yep, that's, I think it's two people. Don't quote me on that, but I just got a feeling. I'll only use that there because there's a battery in the last room. Last longer. We could try or don't starve. Haha! <laughs> That's true. I'm not planning on playing Don't Starve on stream. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind. I enjoyed the game, but again, it's like one of those things I, I burned out on it. Um, well, you know, I could, I could look into it again. There's a lot of other things that I'm very interested in playing right now. And sadly, no time, you know. Um, really would like to play uh, Stonekeep at some point. I might play it tomorrow, actually. Because um, you guys, no, no offense to any of you, uh, by all means, and I certainly don't really let you dictate my stream, but um, not in that sense, anyway. <laughs> not entirely. Um, always open the suggestion. Um, 
But what I was going to say is, like, you know, you guys didn't seem like you were in love with Stonekeep, the idea of it. And, you know, I know some of you enjoyed Lands of Lore. Um, but it's not a game for everybody. Dungeon Crawl games are definitely a niche. Um, and they're sort of an outdated niche. Um, but Stonekeep is a game I've always uh, wanted to sit down and actually play. So, I think I might do that uh, a little bit on Saturday morning uh, sometime, like when the usual crowd isn't on. Um, may or may not get viewers, but I'm not overly concerned about it. It's just something I, I'm interested in playing. So, that, oh, I'm really sorry guys. I thought like the on was going to end, but it kept going. So that's something on the menu. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. But uh, oh, that's a pretty. It's a pretty good one, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so that um, I want to play um, Alan Wake. I you know I I do like that. And someone said Silent Hill. I got into that idea as well. Uh, I'd really like to play Ultima. The Ultima games. Unfortunately, the older ones. Um, it'd be. It'd, uh, I wish I didn't touch that. It'd be hard for the stream to follow. Um, not follow so much. But yeah. Tanuki suit! Alright, well, I mean, in theory, we could just get hit on the boss. And just have uh, the bird solo, Isaac. I'm not sure if the bird scales its damage based on yours. I really hope so. Otherwise, it would take a very long time. I guess that's the point. You're not supposed to cheese it. See, this is the Fallen I remember, guys. It's just like a crappy version of... Uh, what's his face? Um, I just killed him. I don't remember. Cramp it. Wow, I didn't think he could even do that. Alright, fine. Have fun. That's what you get. You mess with the, uh, the girl, you get the bird. It's in the afternoon lobster time. No, it's uh, 1.50 a.m. right now. Hope you guys are taking note of these pro strats. I'm actually the best Isaac player in the world. So, if you want to take notes, if you want an autograph, um, give me your address. I'll email it to you. <laughs> I'll email you your address. What, like, what do I mean by that? Man, I need to work too much. Mass room damage versus crampers. I don't know, that's tough, actually. I think crampers is probably better. Oh, yeah, yeah, Saturday stream. Well, the thing is, I mean, if, if Rudy is actually... Uh, uh, bird doesn't scale in damage. Oh, jeez. All right. Here's the thing. Dead cat is really bad. Joke's on you. I had nine other lives. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Um, Dead Cat is actually garbage, but I always go for Guppy. I have to. It's a curse. If uh, Rudy is interested in seeing Stonekeep, uh, I might wait then and do uh, some video editing. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, hey, cool, I got a dark bum. He can steal my hearts. Yeah, Gups is really overpowered, actually. Any chance you have to take the Guppers, you do it. And shielded Tears are so bad. What's up, Herp? Spoopy tomorrow. Yeah, man. Oh no, they're gonna eat my golden poop. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I was gonna do Spoopy tonight, um, because I think we've got it working. George said 
Uh, we should be able to do some of the maps. I downloaded like Half-Life and Counter-Strike because those are very easy to get a hold of. Um, I own them, but I mean like it's very easy to download two games as opposed to the entire library. What is it? Spoopy? I don't know, it's some Gmod um, horror thing. Um, hello again! <laughs> you just came here two bros. Yeah, I, uh, well, I didn't download the text map, I just downloaded the whole game. I'm sure there was an easier way to do that or not, but whatever, it's done. It's over with. Uh, I get done. Oh my god, I did that myself. <sighs> Secret room, maybe. I mean, there might be one there. Yeah, nice. Nice. Too strong. But no, um, sorry, yep, that's, alright. So, Spoopy is just what we use for Spooky, of course, that's just a thing. Um, George is currently referring to, like, a, a series of maps on Gmod or something. Uh, I'm not really expecting much. Um, I'm the kind of guy who... You know, I prefer tradition. Well, I don't. I prefer sort of psychological horror games. I really enjoy that. I don't like jump scares. But George just said they're um, they're quite good. So you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot, and we can, it's definitely something we can do together, a bunch of the viewers. So that'll be a bit interesting. Oh, congrats, man! But um, and Gups is Guppy. Uh, it's an item in Binding of Isaac. Um, it's basically, it just turns you into a cat that, um, makes you fly, which is awesome. And then when you attack enemies, you spawn flies that do damage. Like, lots of damage. How long am I going to play Isaac? Uh, well, I wasn't intending to play too long tonight, unfortunately, two bros. Um, surprised I'm still up. Just, you know, chat keeps me going. But, uh, probably... I don't know, probably to the end of this run. Then I might look into starting something else. Um, I might fire up Stonekeep and just do the beginning of that with everybody. Then I'll head off to bed. Oh, what have I done? Why did I walk into that? I was not paying attention. Yes, uh, texture maps are like just... Uh, like It's a bunch of text. Oh, jeez. Here we go, guys. Hope you're, you're ready for fun. The best stream on the internet right now. Late night. Telepills. I'll take it. Oh, I didn't want to take that. Oh, okay, fine. Sure game. That's how it's got to be. <laughs> oh, you, world. Yeah, do, you, do you not often have people in your chat, uh, two bros? Or are you like a newer streamer? That's always a bit of a problem. I will say one thing. If you're trying to get viewers, um, I don't. So, I don't have as much of an... Oh, okay, I gotta see what's in a box. Eh, it's alright. Awesome. Um, I think there is a room down here with two keys requirements. We're gonna check that out. It could be a library. No, it's just a room with a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, flat penny's good, actually. I think you get keys when you pick up dime or uh, coins, yeah. Oh, you origami! Um. Anyway, sorry, I was saying, if you're trying to get viewers, um, yeah. What do you normally play? Now, I, for the longest time, I, you can see I've been playing for 184, I think, days today. Um, like in a row. And I definitely, when I started, I would be lucky to have one person in like a, you know, a, a three hour stream. Um, just because like, you know, I haven't streamed in a long time. Uh, my old community was gone. And I was playing games I want to play as opposed to games that are interesting. Um, but the thing is, and number one thing is, people will always watch something um, 
Oh, that's just terrible. Where I was sick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, I was sick one day, Herpy. But, like, I played uh, in the morning. The next day. And, uh, I, I mean, I was on for, like, five minutes. I played, like, Orcs Must Die or something. But the thing is, um... If you play something that you're passionate about, bros, people are going to watch you. Um, and that's important. Is The important thing is to not play it for the viewers, to do it for fun. Um, which is why, you know, even though I play games that aren't, you know, the super coolest thing to watch on stream, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not playing Hearthstone. I'm not playing Dota. Uh, you know, I, I just recently played through uh, Max Payne. Uh, one and two, which, you know, granted, they're very mainstream games, and they're very big. They're certainly not the most popular thing to watch on stream. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, like, as long as you're having fun, there's going to be people that want to watch you. And it's okay if people don't watch you. Because um, even from, like, day one, I, I never... Alright, we're going to cheese it. Have fun. Oh, actually, I'm not going to be able to cheese this boss. It's going to take 30 years. <sighs> Alright. You win this game. Maybe we got balls of steel. <laughs> oh! Look at that. But um, the important thing is just to have fun, man. And if you're not having fun streaming and you need to have the viewer count, you know, that, that's okay. Uh, maybe, maybe you got a plan. This boss is not giving me a good time. But um, you, you just... Ultimately, you know, life's short. You know what I mean? So, trying to have a good time. I, uh, I work full-time. And, you know, I, I do not have a lot of time for the, the Vigi games. Oh, I'm going to die. It's worth. To quote Bane Raffle. Truly a great man. Oh, well, I appreciate that, man. That's one of the things, like, I... I've honestly never watched uh, how many viewers I have right now. I don't know how many I have right now. Uh, I can assume I have like five, um, but that's that's all I know. Uh, well, if you're trying, like, if getting viewers is important to you, rebranding is a big thing. Um, my original channel back in the day was just Late Night Vidya. Uh, Ruffle Lobster is a, a name that came around the same era, but I was Late Night Vidya for a very long time. Oh, hey, that's cool, bro. And that's the thing, I only know how many viewers is if the chat like says something like, holy crap, we got like, you know, 15 or something um, on occasion. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Origami. It, it, honestly, it makes me feel very nice uh, hearing you guys with the compliments. And, um,. My big reason why I started streaming, and I've mentioned this before, but, um, you know, Two Bros is, is sort of new to the neighborhood, as it were. So is Yep, that's. And I um, went in a huge slump where I did not play games, because I was just working, working, working. And that's fine. You know, it's okay. You don't have to play games your whole life. But, oh, I thought I could thread the needle. But, unfortunately... Oh, hey, NY Yanks. How you doing? Um... You know, I, I just did not give myself time. And it's one of those things. You always tell yourself in life, you'll do it for everything. I don't have time to do this. And that is a lie. Um, you always have time to do stuff if you make time for it. And so I was like, okay, I have to make time for gaming. The only time I made for gaming is if Zelfus was online. I would, you know, grab a few uh, rounds of something with him and go to bed. And I really enjoy streaming. I really enjoy making videos. Uh, it's something, again, video editing is something I've recently got back into. And I was like, well, hang on. I used to love streaming. I used to love, um, you know, the whole, like, I really enjoy interacting with people. And back in the day when I streamed, almost nobody watched uh, streams. Um, you were lucky. I mean, back in the, now you can get, like, 3,000 people watching it. It's pretty cool. But back in the day when I streamed, 200 was basically the entire internet. So, it was a very, um, yeah, I get Krampus. So it was very interesting. And 
So I just started streaming as a... I gave myself a challenge. It was sort of a New Year's thing, but it came a bit later. Um, I believe I started February. Uh, maybe the... No. The end of January, the beginning of February, because uh, Zelfus actually came and visited me. Um, here in Canada. And so <laughs> we're going to do some cheese, guys. And so after he uh, left, I went and started up. And I was just like, I'm going to stream every day. Just an hour. Uh, and then it got to be more than an hour. And it's it's one of those things, man. Like, just do it for you. Do it to have fun. And do it to give yourself a reason to do something. And you'll, you'll get people that stick around because of that. You know what I mean? All it takes is someone to accidentally click your link instead of, you know... Um, uh, man versus game, or uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm sorry. I don't really know the Twitch community too much. Who else plays um, Isaac? Um, there's uh, that guy with the beard. Um, yeah, I'm from Canada. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome, dude. Whereabouts? I'm from the the good old Ontario. What a horrible night to have a curse, indeed. I don't think this run's gonna work, but uh, I'll give anything a shot. Cobol, ah, eh, fair enough. That's his name. Oh, if I say the guy with the beard, everyone knows what I mean. But yeah, Cobalt, uh, for example, all it takes is someone to accidentally click you instead of Cobalt. <laughs> the guy with the beard equals Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No way. Actually, I just um. Oh, what have I done? We need to get serious, guys. I used to watch uh, Lethal Frag. Um, I, I assume you all know who he is. But, uh... Oh, Winnipeg. Well, enjoy your cold winter, sir. But I used to enjoy watching Lethal Frag. I'm um, not saying I don't enjoy it now. I just don't have the time. Um, because I normally just watch videos before bed. And Lethal Frag's normally done his stream uh, when I had to bed. And the thing is, like, I was always like, wow, you know. Oh, no, now we gotta get serious. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be, like, Dwarf Forge is definitely uh, a good thing to stream if you wanna get viewers. There's a very passionate community. Oh, and that's one thing I was going to say. I'm sorry, two bros. Uh, I was going to say this a long time ago. You streaming right now? Oh, that's awesome, man. Um, the thing about Lethal Frag is full health bill. Is when I first, um, you know, when you see somebody streaming at like 2,000 viewers, you're just like, wow, that's insane. And, you know, obviously it's a career for him. Um, it wasn't at the time. Um... I don't know, I, I can't tell you when I started watching him, but it was very early on, probably like day 60 or something. And, um, you know, obviously the big streams are always going to get the, the views. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, Borrowed. Um, I mean, no disrespect to the big streamers out there, but absolutely... Um, they do just hit a point where it's a very, very, uh, Red Patch is kind of garbage for us. Very similar responses all the time. Um, and I feel like a lot of them lose touch with their community. And that's too bad. Um, so one thing I've actually done, and I've talked about it on stream before, is I wouldn't mind a couple more viewers. Um, not that you guys aren't great. I love you guys. But I've always, um, I've just wanted like a little bit more in chat because I occasionally have a day like today. Somehow, I'm still, oh, you troll game. Somehow, I'm still like conscious and, and doing decent commentary. Granted, I'm very distracted and I apologize for that. But the thing is, um, I've always just wanted a couple more people. So, uh, chat is a little bit more autonomous in the sense that um, we can have an awesome community. I can read chat and people will be actually talking about something. Because uh, some nights it'll just be borrowed talking in chat. There'll be a couple of people lurking, and that's fine. You know, I, I, I love it. But I just wish there was a couple more people, just so there was a little more... Um, a little more people, so so it just felt 
more like a community on some nights. And I'm always afraid to do a little bit of promotion. Get a few people, because uh, once you blow up, like, again, this is not my job. I work full time, you know, I, I work uh, 45 hours a week and 15 hours uh, I spend in transit. And, uh, yeah, that's fair enough, Rudy. Um, I used to watch videos and, and uh, play games at the same time. But it's one of those things, like, I'm always afraid to get too many people. Um, and I would love to believe that if I did get people, I could continue being the same person I am now. But it's something you, you just don't know. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's rough. So, um, until then, uh, it's actually uh, a friend of mine. He's a uh, very good... Um, uh, he makes his living off YouTube. Uh, and to a smaller extent, Twitch. What do we have here? My reflection is kind of garbage, and cat head, which is actually really good. But um, he, he's sort of hit the point where he. Oh my goodness! My reflection with cat head is pretty troll. Would you want to do streaming for a job? Now that's an interesting question, Herpy. Let me put it this way. Uh, I'm very passionate about streaming. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I can't do my reflection. I'm so bad with it. I'm very passionate about streaming, so... Would I enjoy working? Uh, yes, I would enjoy working if streaming was my job. Um, I think that's the best way to put it. Would I want to do streaming for a job? I wouldn't want to do it for my only job. Um, I'm the kind of person, like, even if I was streaming and making decent money, I would still have a part-time, at least, job. Oh, wow, this guy's really cute. I've never seen him before. Also, I'm like Sephiroth or something. Pretty cool. So, it's a very hard to say the question. I, I would feel very honored um, if I could make money entertaining people for a living. That's always been a dream of mine. But, um... Right now in my life, I'm not sure if I am. Um, I'm not quite there, I don't think. Um, I feel a lot more confident now uh, compared to how I used to be. When I first, um, like, if I go back and watch my old streams, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? So, you know, just one of those things. Um, I'd enjoy it, but I, I wouldn't. Uh, drop everything to make it happen right away, Herpy. I think part of that, too, is I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm uh, very business-minded, so I like having a secured income, which is probably why, even if, like, I, I was making full-time money with, like, Twitch, I would absolutely, like, have just a part-time job, just so I know this, this income is always going to be the same. Uh, does Duke of Flies get affected by whatever this water thing is? What is this? Oh! It's like a crappy Tammy's head, but it recharges. That's cool. And yeah, always appreciate Origami tossing out Steam Group. Uh, Origami made Steam Group for us. And, uh, it, hey, it's pretty cool, man. Um, feel free to join or not. I see it more of a... I don't really use it for too much. Um, I see it more as just a, a place to meet the community uh, after the stream. Because I think, honestly, I know, I'm, I'm sure everybody says this, but I think we have the best community on the internet right now. And it's small, and that's probably part of it. But it's a lot of really great guys. Um, good senses of humor, and uh, pretty good taste in games. <laughs> Surprisingly young, too. Normally, I don't like young people. Mostly because I work in the food industry, and young kids are always trouble. Yeah, hey, thanks, Two Bros. You have a nice night, and uh, good luck with your streams, dude. Oh, it's interesting. It stopped charging. Um, wow, that was weird. I did not expect that. Oh, I hate these spiders. I'm really slow in this character. 
feel like my damage is actually quite low as well. And obviously I started with no health, but um, starting with a, a minion. I forget what they're called in this, familiars or something. That works. Yeah, um, well, I mean, if you ask Kirby, he'll say no. Uh, currently, I'm a manager at Subway. But I've been a manager for a lot of fast food restaurants, uh, for pizza restaurants, and I have uh, been a chef at actual food places before. Um, a few fish places and um, like Swiss Chalet, which you can argue. But I've also worked at a more upper scale um, place, which unfortunately... It's a smaller restaurant, so I'm not really going to name the name of. Um, just in case we ever talk about fun stories. Because there's always, I, I, you know, occasionally I go into, oh my goodness, I love Pyro. Sometimes I go into the, the fun, uh, or tragic, or just terrible things that happen uh, in the workplace. So when you do something like that, you don't really want, um, you know, the one store that has that name to be like, you know, known to the internet, because uh, that's not fair to them, you know what I mean? Oh, she's front of the house, the Golden Corral. That's awesome, dude. Um, I will say one thing. If you are, uh, if you've never had a job before, um, fast food is the way to go. It should be your first job. 100% uh, believe it. A lot of people want to get in retail. Retail is easy. Fast food is, everything retail is, a hundred things more and it teaches you so much um, it's it's insane um, like you you have to learn how to you know deal with different people much like you would in high school but the thing is in high school dealing with these people isn't really that important um, it's just it's one of those things I don't know you, you learn how to do so many things working fast food, which is, uh, several times I've actually applied for retail, um, because, you know, I don't have a job, and I'm like, okay, I just want to get a job, don't really care what it is, and you apply for retail, and they'll tell you, they'll be like, oh, well, have you worked retail before? It's like, no, I've worked fast food, and it's like, oh, well, we're looking for someone with retail experience, and I'm like, alright, hear me out here. Um, I've done inventory, I've done stocking, I've done POS systems and cash, I've done customer service, you know, and, and I can name a thousand things I've done that apply to retail. So how is that any different? I want to take the goat head here. That's risky, but I want to see more devil rooms. And I'm like, how is that any different than what you do? Plus on top of that, I have to make food. So, hey, that is awesome, NY Hanks. Um, one thing I've always thought, you know, um, I've, I've always thought about joining the military. Uh, never have, but I've always thought about it. And not so much the military, but you can get, like, schooling through the military. And... I think I'm one of those people, uh, just the way my mind works, I think I'm one of those people that would not um, have issues with, well, yeah, w with the sort of, uh, there's, there's a lot of like sort of mental trauma, basically, it goes with like just going through the, I understand that Canada doesn't need military therapy, but you know what I mean, there's a lot of mental trauma that goes with that. And I'm, I don't know, like, the way my mind works, I don't think I would have a problem with that. But, end of the day, I, um, I was going to go into the military uh, schooling just to get, um, to go for, like, medicine or something along those lines. Because uh, I'm, I'm actually, you know, it's one of those things, I, I hate saying stuff like this on the internet, because it's... Everybody says this kind of stuff, but I'm actually a very smart person. Um, like, one of those really, really, really smart people. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit conceited there. But, um, the thing is, 
uh, I got a relationship, and um, I couldn't bear to like, uh, you know, like leave Kaylin um, by herself. So I, n I never uh, looked into it, um, which worked out for me actually. Uh, life's been good. Got a stream. I uh, got an apartment. Sort of figured out my life a lot better. So hey, Edge, how you doing? Always a pleasure to see you, man. Oh, that was a mistake. Mm, all right. We'll just do one more quick attempt at a run. Um, probably won't finish it because I am I am fading. But uh, what can you do? Samson's fun. Oh, Edge, I'm listening. Did you get your um, not Kickstarter uh, Patreon? And yeah, I'd love pictures. We always want pictures here, that's right. So those things, actually, I love it. Uh, I love hearing news and getting pictures about um, anti-gravity tears. Oh, no. It's like the second I went to pick that up, I was like, why does this give me, like, non-flashbacks? Well, we got mines. Stream frozen? Working for anyone else? Got a stream of the cat give birth in her yard. Oh, that's nice, Edge. You always seem like a bit of a cat guy. Go! Oh, jeez. Our one HP. Yeah, Edge, Edge uh, streams Linux games, mostly. Uh, he does a lot of, like, Mountain Blade, as far as I can recall. I'm sure he's up to now, but I'm sure he'll fill you in. But, um... One thing, I don't know, I, I really like is hearing news from people that pop in the stream. Also seeing pictures. Um, because it's kind of like... You know when you get, like, the occasional like friend that goes on uh, vacation? Uh, I don't, because I'm from the country. I don't know anyone. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point. Oh, jeez, I'm so bad. The point is, um, I always love like people just popping in and just being like, I don't know. I don't know. I just I like people telling me something. It feels like I'm getting like those. Um, what are they called? Like when someone sends you a card. I just like hearing other people's stories. Um, and normally at work, I just talk to customers. Um, a lot, because I, I enjoy hearing what's going on in other parts of the world. I enjoy hearing about other people's uh, way of thinking. Um, sometimes I get tired. Uh, those people are crazy. But uh, for the most part, yeah. Oh, I forgot he does that. I'm just so bad at games. Alright. Got it. speed and range up. Doesn't help our character at all. This is range's uh, maximums little thing here. I have not heard about US politics. What? Oh, jeez. What's new with uh, US politics, man? Right, hang on, let's check out these. Oh, wow. That just melts your heart, man. <laughs> that is a beautiful little cab. I'm, uh, I'm more of a dog person myself. I really like cats, but... Uh, you know, when I was... Uh, pardon me. When I was a kid, uh, I was very attached to my dog, so... Um, I don't know, it's just always been like... Eh, I kind of like dogs more, but... Uh, <laughs> Cats are pretty amazing. I mean, if, if I had a choice, I'd earn, uh, own them all. Uh, certainly, I really like uh, birds as well. Trump? Yeah, actually, Trump is running for president. I did hear about that. Um, 
you might get the uh, American version of Rob Ford. <laughs> we'll see. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, you know, businessmen running politics, nothing new there, so I'm not really sure. Oh, absolutely. I think cats are way better to take care of. Um, oh my goodness, pills. Well, this might be the run. Tears down? Oh, no, thank you. Amnesia? No. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I like them all, Edge. Um, I, I really am just a sucker for animals. I love fish, I love, you know, I, everything. But, if I had to pick one, it's, it's dogs, you know. They're my favorite. Uh, Telepills, yeah. Wow, this is a run. That's true, Origami. But the thing you have to remember with the, the uh, Hispanic community in uh, the States is none of them are voters. Because they're not legal citizens. And I know it sounds a bit racist, but it, it is quite true. Um, a lot of them don't pay taxes, at least in California. Um... So, they can't vote. Yeah, I mean, I really like the fact that cats um, do the litter thing. Hey, unknown! Yeah, I got nothing against Hispanic people. I love the... Well, actually, if you talk to uh, Zelfus, he, he'll tell you I'm perhaps too much into the... Uh, Castilian culture. I'm very much a big fan of the Spain and all that kind of stuff. Um, Portugal to a lesser extent. Nothing against Portugal, but I think um, well, we got to take the mark here. But I think um, I enjoy the more middle to sort of eastern um, Spain. Yeah, and George, I believe, is also Hispanic. Um, a lot of them in the stream, for whatever reason. Well, a bit of a misplay on my part, but oh well. We got there. Unfortunately, I hit the point in Isaac where I'm too fast to control. Uh, it's not a good place to be. Please, Guppy. Nice. Alright, we're gonna telepills out of here. Nice. So if you don't mind me um, asking... Why, uh, or how, I guess is the better way of putting it, uh, did Trump anger the Hispanic community? Okay, now this is amazing. Um, this item here is a bit of a gamble. It makes all chests turn into red chests, which increases our chance of, there you go, getting guppies. Uh, we don't want to trade it for that. If we're going to grab that, we want to find a devil deal first uh, and lower our HP. Picking up Guppy there, we'll uh, take our HP down one. Oh, jeez. That was really poor play on my part. Completely avoidable damage. Oh, hey, Peep. I hate you. Oh, but you're easy, Peep. Well, okay, you're easy, Peep, if you have flying, which we just happen to do on this character. Okay, no devil room, so we're gonna go ahead and take the, uh, the guppy now, then. What does that one do? Oh, 48 hour energy. Interesting. Uh, it's one of those things, um, here is my, well, not my only complaint, but here's one complaint I have with America. Okay. I feel. Alright. Uh. You have, man, I'm just unfortunately too fast to control my character. But I feel like if you're going to um, tax your citizens, um, you should increase the sales tax and lower the income tax. Uh, at least the lower uh, income brackets. The reason for this. Oh, the wafer, nice. Uh, the reason for this is if you increase sales tax and lower 
uh, your income tax, you um, you don't force people to become uh, you know legitimate citizens, but you encourage it because there's a lot of benefits to being a legal citizen, and obviously you uh, the main reason to not be one is you don't pay tax. So, if you increase sales tax, that makes it so it's like, well, I mean, there goes the benefit to not being one. What do we got? What's this? Magic fingers. Oh, yeah, you spend money to do damage. Eh, well, both these items are garbage, so. I've actually used magic fingers to a good extent uh, later in the game. But, uh, unfortunately, we're not later in the game. So. Oh, mad mushrooms are good. Absolutely, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, Spanish culture. I think actually my first um, encounter, if you will, with the, yeah, I agree, America is a bit odd. The Spanish culture was from the Adams family, which is one of my favorite... Um, I mean, I really enjoy the movie, but it's one of my favorite sort of uh, fictional settings. I'm really enjoying that. Um, so anyway, Gomez Adams, of course, very Castilian. And I always, when I was a kid, I thought, oh man, Gomez is so cool. And I always tried to model myself after him. Granted, there's several other characters in my life I, I tried to model myself after. You're young and impressionable and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I really think Gomez Adams is a pretty cool dude. So, um, so I'm as a bit of a gentleman and all that kind of stuff. So because of that, um, I sort of just, you know, put that Castilian culture and I, or Hispanic culture, if you will, and I sort of associated it with Gomez. And I, yeah, I've always wanted to go to Spain. Uh, unfortunately, I always wanted to go to France as well. Uh, luckily, they're pretty close, so it's possible. But, uh... Oh, you borrowed. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to have the money for that for quite some time. I'm not like, in a rush or anything, but... Yeah, I mean... I'm also somebody who... I've actually never traveled. Um, it was only two years ago, or three years ago, rather. I went outside of Canada the first time. I've only been outside it once, and we just took a trip uh, south of the border to the States. Um, my girlfriend and her family took me. <laughs> Join the Navy and go both. Well, that's how you do it, NY Yanks. Unfortunately, Canadian Navy, um, you don't get too far on a canoe. You can try, but... Uh... Is this one Horror Babylon? The left? Can I get a confirmation on that? Uh, if so, that's pretty good pickup with what we have. Uh, that'll lower our max health, but um, we'll always be doing a bazillion damage. What's that origami? Is it in the navy? Oh, jeez. Okay. I'd, yeah, I'll check that later. Alright, awesome. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll watch that later. I. It's all. Oh, jeez. Oh, this room is hell. It's always sad, though, when someone alienates a, uh, a community like that. Canadians abroad? Uh, right now? Maybe. Canadians are normally the relief effort, though. Because we don't really like to get involved in uh, major conflicts. Uh, I mean, Harper threw us in the um, sort of Iraq debacle. But we weren't like as involved as uh, you know America. We were, we were more there to... We do like the peacekeeping type of thing where we just like come in. It's like, oh, okay, everything's tidy. And then we hand out blankets. And we're, we're more about... Um, 
you know, being being the, I don't know, like the, the sort of paramedics and the, uh, walking the stuff like that. Oh, I don't know how my reflection works with this. Thank God it doesn't. That was almost sadness. Uh, you can bomb these for a chance at uh, soul hearts. Damn. I really want to get Guppy. I just need one more item. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can't even kill the little guy. Well, that's hilarious. Okay, the screw. It's a pretty good item. Um, we need to try for more soul hearts here. Yeah, Canada, it does feel like we sort of just get sent in to pick up after everybody else. Um, but I'm okay with that. As was passage. I believe that just opens up a way to the next level. The habit, though... Uh, it's if we take damage... Yeah, it's if we take damage, we recharge our item. Uh, we're gonna grab it, because it's potentially OP late game. Canada's America's wife? Uh, I can see that. Except they don't listen to us, so. <laughs> I walked into that shot there. Yeah, if I had a space bar. We got the bean. Too strong. Uh, I gotta go for this, actually, just in case of gup. No gup. That's fine. Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah. Never mind. There we go. Dunked. Amnesia pill, no thank you. Although that would have been a fast way out if I had let myself get grabbed. Hey Herb, how you doing? Alright. What's the pill do? Tears up! Eh, you know. It's something. Uh, the regular secret room might be here. You can sail the seven seas in the navy. Huge fan of that song. Uh, first heard that in the credits to um, uh, Down Periscope, which is a movie I really enjoy about the army life. Obviously, it's a bit of a joke, but uh, it's all good. Curse room, gotta go for it. There she is. Oh, am I a cat now? I should be. Dead cat, guppies, collar, and paw. Yeah, oh, I'm a cat now. Doesn't necessarily mean we've won the game. But, uh... I mean, especially not with our HP pool. But we have a chance. Oh, you herp. Alright. It begins, yeah. Cat is so OP. Like, and that's the thing. Like, normally when I play this game, I just rush, uh, try and abuse arcades, just get cat, and I win most of the time. Uh, on stream, it's a bit different. So I'm trying to, like, play fast and be cool. But you don't always get an arcade. We didn't even, um, we haven't got an arcade, actually, in several, uh, runs, so. Take that how you want. Oh, thank goodness. No! I walked into that. I saw, like, too late they were that kind. Mum's bra. How dare you. Yeah. Is this Depths too? Yeah. Um, Alright. I might have made the right call there. A 
Maybe. Come back here, ghosts. Dunked. Alright, there's our boss. Oh, I had to walk into that. Alright, boss time. Oh my god, our damage is real. Oh, Polaroid? And we get to do boss rush? Okay, I only get pick one of these, right? Uh. uh Alright, talk to me. Is that guy speedball? Because uh, if so, I think the map reveal and spawning soul hearts is better with our build. Because speedball is just like, what, speed and range up? I think that's correct. Oh, I think, uh, I think we got a chance. Crystal ball, yeah. Because that should spawn a soul hearts, I think, crystal ball. Oh, jeez, too spoopy. Why me not spawn inside of enemies? I would love a speed down at this point, unfortunately. I hate how I have to hit its back. <laughs> unfortunately, they, uh, they've nerfed the habit, so... We're not going to be able to abuse it quite as much. Oh. If only I had telepills to get out of here. We can go pick up Guppy's paw. And uh, claim the eternal heart for something. Because actually at this point, it's better to not pick up the heart. Just because we've got uh, the wafer, or the Polaroid. Well, we have the wafer as well, actually. Good. Just need a few more soul hearts to spawn here so we can feel a little a little bit better. Um, Mom's heart we should do alright on. Uh, just be able to DPS it really fast. It's Isaac I'm worried about. Okay, hello Gertie. Our damage is insane though. Uh, so right now, uh, to anyone who doesn't know Isaac enough, uh, we're doing a boss rush because we beat the game fast enough. So we're fighting all the bosses really, really fast. And yeah, we are killing them this fast. <laughs> so we're a little bit OP right now. Uh, and if I was more awake and or better at the game, um, there's pretty much no way we can lose at this point. Unfortunately, I'm not fully awake and I am better at the game. Well, I'm not bad, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna use Mom's bra here just because I hate Mask of Infamy. It's a pain. Yeah, I mean, I could go for more damage, but uh... jeez. Where's he at? Okay. Everybody's just riding away. Yeah, I love Azazel. It's always fun running Azazel. Look at all these hearts, though. Imagine if we could use them. If only. Oh my god, money equals power. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that eternal. Oh, I messed up, guys. Pretty fly guy. <laughs> oh, you herpy. So, having an extra heart is actually bad because now um, the Polaroid doesn't proc on every hit. Um, yeah, that I just fought through like all the bosses in the game for the most part. A couple exceptions, but they're not worth mentioning. Uh, it's tempting. Cursed room, not tempting. Not anymore. I 
Uh, we don't win if we beat all the bosses, sorry, no, in, in White Hanks. We still have to beat the game. It's just you do it to get two free items. Um, and you don't have to do it. Uh, I just did because I was feeling extremely confident. For good reason. Ah, uh, yes. Forgot that I revealed the map with this. It's weird because I said I did and then I completely forgot. Um, so it was a very good pickup for us. What do you got for me? Well, okay, actually, at this point, it's worth it to grab um, another Eternal Heart. Just because if you already have one, oh well. So we get Soul. Uh, I guess I'll fight this. Um, this is a blood bloody arena or something, so you have to fight bosses, but we just did a boss rush and we know we can do it. So I just gotta beat three bosses done. What do we get? Golden key. Well, not very useful. Uh, I think we walk into... Wow, I'm bad. A black candle, though. Cursed immunity and evil up. Weird. No idea what that does. Sounds good. So, boss is this way. I mean, it's looking good that we win now, but oh my goodness. Too bad it's impossible for us to... What do you do? Number four. I don't know what the four does, so I'm not touching it. Um, well, we need money, actually, so you guys get to die. Because money is just going to increase our damage exponentially, because we have money equals power. Which I believe is actually um, a multiplicative. Uh, pardon me if I say that wrong. Sometimes I have trouble with words like that um, at nighttime. But uh, damage increase. I shouldn't have walked in all that stuff. Oh, well, I did. Hello, Conquest. Hello. Goodbye. Give me a pony. Yeah, you can tell me what 4 does, for sure. Um, I don't like to know spoilers for some games, but Isaac is a game I am fairly fluent in. Uh, so, if it's something I don't want to know, um, I'll, I'll just let you know. We don't need the hangman, but why not? We have it. Nice. Alright, what do we got? What's in the box? Yay, cancer. Oh... Oh, we have to take cancer though, right? You drop less hearts, but you charge your shots way faster. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. Right, from the wiki. No, yeah, I, I left the uh, the room already. Sorry, I'm I'm still interested. I still want to know what it does. And sorry, Herp, I, I'm just literally so tired. I just I did derp there. The world is a pretty good card. Let's go back here, get my recharge. So, boss and everything is up. Um, whoa, 48 hour energy. Oh, don't mind if I do though. We got Wheel of Fortune, pretty awesome. I'm gonna drop a Wheel of Fortune here, blow it up so we can get some more money. Excellent. Oh, you troll her. Oh, jeez. Okay, nice. What does this do? Uh, I mean, do we do that? Like, no. I think no. Yeah, it's one of those things like, cancer is really strong. The problem is, uh, obviously, you get less hearts. Um, and it makes less hearts drop. That's a thing. But that's not an issue for us. Uh, the issue is. Um, the refire rate is not as much of an issue 
Um, because a lot of the time you're going to be dodging shots and just waiting for the perfect shot with it. You know what I mean? So, eh. It's one of those things, in theory, it is a huge DPS increase. But, oh, by the way, this is the uh, the boss, guys. There we go. We're looking pretty good. Uh, not nah, going for the devil room, because I think... Yeah, it's not actually a devil room. Okay, so I picked up the Polaroid, so we're going for the chest. I'm pretty sure I already have a chest win on Azazel. Uh, he's my favorite character, so... Uh, let's find the secret room here. Oh, okay. The tower. That's an interesting card. Uh, so we are here. This boss guy was the boss, yeah. Uh oh, taking damage. I'm bad at games all of a sudden. Steam sale, my favorite. It's alright, Herpy. You can tell me what uh, the thing does now. What does a 3 do? I'll let you figure that out for me. Uh, as long as it's not the one that re rolls everything I have, we're good. That one makes me mad. I know. Every time I get Steam Cell, I'm just like, really? How, how do you damage this guy? There we go. Just had to be at the right angle, I guess. Two clubs. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more bomb. Very quicker. What does number three do? all pickups for the entire floor. Hmm. Alright. Let's drop all the bombs. Alright, we're just going to re-roll anything that's not money. <laughs> I read yours first, Herpy. I don't know if you believe me, but it's true. Keys though. Meh. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. Yeah, that's fair, dude. Googling on mobile is. <gasps> Guppy's head! Not a crystal ball, though. Alright, well, this is actually a legitimately hard fight. Hang on, guys. Hold on to your butts. Making your own vape coils. Please explain uh, how that works, actually. I just don't really understand the science behind it. It dunks. Oh no, we never beat it as a Zazel. Really? Okay. Or maybe we did. I got an achievement for something icky. So I have no idea. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I had no way around that. Okay, what do we get? Mongo baby. Terrible. Okay. Hourglass is interesting. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm not going in that room. No death, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I feel the same way, borrowed. You know, same thing. Like, uh, I never, I never gamble unless I know I'm gonna win. Whoa! Did anyone else see me spawn at the bottom of the room? I got so confused there. Rebel in the power of darkness, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. That room. Oh, you herpy. 
You could say that, though. Also, wow. We just got so much money. Our power overwhelming is just... Well, it's overwhelming. Oh my god. Reusable HP regen. Who even needs that when you're this OP? So these are all bosses as well, of course. Okay, I appreciate that, Borrowed. I, I really do appreciate that the game teleports me so I don't take damage. But it made me take damage because I was like, where am I, what? That's alright. What we get here? Oh, I was really hoping for uh, two diamonds. Just for the flat. Oh, lard. HP up and speed down. It's my birthday. I actually do need that... Uh Parts now, though. I feel like the devil does not take you to the devil room. I think it's the joker you need for that, so I'm not gonna use it. All right, everyone, on to the final boss, the blue baby. Well, the final boss of the chest. I should clarify that. Oh, jeez, he's a tough fight. Oh, I can't handle it. Hey, let's watch the ending, shall we? <laughs> oh, did I, did I crash the game? Oh. Ah, oh, what a beautiful ending. Good end. Look at me, I'm a golden god. I'm not, though. See, I still have one ending to go. Oh well. We're getting there, though. I wonder what I unlocked. Uh, oh, I should have gone the other way. Apparently, I didn't have the um, the shoal <sniffs> victory. Oh well. A giant grilled cheese sandwich. You don't make gouda in the grilled cheese, dude. You Swiss cheese or um, what's it called uh, spread cheese. I forget what the name of it is. Cheese whiz. <laughs> I think that sums my life up perfectly, actually, Borrowed. <laughs> Alright. We still have to find a lot of items, too, actually. But I still have RNG. And I still haven't beat, like, half of these, because, nope. They're hard. This one's so fun, though. Computer savvy is just, like... Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> you mad her? Uh, anyway, I am off for the night. I was done when I began, and thanks you guys got revitalized, but I have come crashing back down. Um, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining me, and you all have a nice night, and as always, we'll be back tomorrow. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, good night.